Hey guys, what's going on? Tribuck here today. We're going to be playing some Farming Simulator 2019 here on the Rolling Hills map. And if you guys want to go check out the last two episodes, it's over on my channel. There's a link in the description and there's a little card thing that should have popped up just like a few seconds ago. should have popped up up here in the corner. And go ahead and click on that and it will bring you... If you click on it and then click on my channel, it will bring you to my channel. So go ahead and go check those two videos out that you probably missed. And you probably missed the 4640 being gone. We traded it for 4650 with a front wheel assist on it. We're going to go ahead and use it today. We're going to hook onto the baler and bale some hay. We do have two DMI 400. 400 or 4000? I think they're 400s. Uh, gravity wagons. We got them full of oats. We did go ahead and cut the oats over there on my channel. Like I said, if you want to go check that out, feel free to. Some more FS19 content of mine. And, yeah, so the dash, I guess I never really got in cab view in this thing. We're going to go ahead and start up the baler. Um, once again, you can't really see out the window, so it's kind of hard to tell where you're going. Um, just typical with these older John Deere tractors with the split cab. But, yeah, so we went ahead and put duels on it. Now, there's going to be lots of hay off this field. Couldn't imagine doing a 4,000 4, liter baler. This is a 10,000 liter baler, and it filled up pretty fast. So we'd be full right now with the 4,000 liter, and full again with the 4,000 liter. Yeah, it adds up pretty quick. I kind of like my my 10,000 liter baler. In fact, on straw, I'd like to have more. It ain't bad. I just don't like kicking them out a lot. It's boring. We're going to eat the middle out to readjust here. Back up, turn, go this way, and we'll start moving this way. See, so yeah, we can bail along about 12 mile an hour. This will probably be our new planter tractor, um, just because the case is probably a little... Yeah, so this will probably be the planter tractor. I'm probably going to put a front saddle tank on it. Uh, it does lift the planter fully loaded. Handles it pretty well. One reason why I got it. One reason it's new and it's old. And I don't think too many people have had it out. It is converted. I'm guessing it's converted from 19. Most of the mods are nowadays. Just because it's easier to convert than make a new one. Or it's the same model from... Uh, 17. But yeah, if you guys want want me to do some more 17 videos like I did, let me know so I can make more. I like making them. 17 is kind of more funner just because there's mods. It's a little bit funner to record a little bit. The textures and everything's all weird. Everything's different. Just the looks of the game are different. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and bail this probably not time lapse it or I might I don't know because if you do time lapse it then you got like the uh, you gotta watch the bail indicator thing and I guess you can listen for the beeps and then wait till you see a straw but then you have to back up every time not that I don't anyway I usually always back up I don't know why it's just because I do and yeah so this basically jumps to 12 mile an hour a pretty decent tractor. I don't mind it at all. I didn't think we'd add up with this much straw, really. We're going to have a good amount. Go ahead and kick that out. See, because then I can kick it like this. Kick the baler in, take off, back up to 12. And we do have to, we'll probably be running this tractor all day long. Uh, we got to chisel this field. I'm going to go ahead and chisel it, and then we're going to fertilize it. So we might as well wear this tractor out as fast as we can. So that we can trade it off for a new one, for a new John Deere, maybe even a firm four-wheel drive like the other one. And, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and probably get this all baled. And then, of course, we do have to haul, haul the bales off the field to get the chisel out here, or the subsoiler, whatever you guys want to call it. I'm going to call it a cultivator just because it has cultivator textures. But it is a, technically a subsoiler, so it does plow and cultivate at the same time. 
and it, it's actually hooked up to the 89 right now. We probably should repair it before we get to the field. I might do that before we get it all ready to go. Might have to pull the combine out of the shed or take it to the shop. We're pretty close to the shop, actually. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this field bailed real quick, and I'll see you guys when I'm all done. All right, so I'm just dumping out the last bale. I'm gonna leave that right there, just that little strip, because I don't want to have like a partial bale in the baler. And in real life, I'd probably just bale it up and spit out a miniature bale. But there's no such thing as miniature bales in farm sim yet. There could be. I don't know. Somebody could make a mod. But we're gonna go ahead and put the baler away. We probably don't need to wash it. It doesn't look look that bad tractor tire textures aren't bad either when they get a little muddy so we'll back it in here and then of course we do have to go pick it up we do have to go pick up all the hay and we do have to plow it I think we'll just park the tractor in here for now back up between here where the uh, where did it go there the planter hex the baler went across there and then the planter went there but anyway we're gonna go ahead and jump in the telehand there actually Actually, we're getting the pickup first, because we are going to haul them off, and I don't know where we're going to put them on. So we do have to back up, hook on, pretty sure we can probably get this out with running some hitches over. There we go. And we'll take this, park it probably in the middle of the field, and flip up the cradles right now. Might as well do that. There we go. And we'll park it out here. We probably have two to three loads. For sure two loads. And if I stack them in a triangle or triple stack. Triple strat triple stack or triangle stack. I can probably get um two for sure. And that would technically be three loads on the normal. Planner's still sitting here. There's the telehandler, the old Massey Ferguson telehandler. I like this thing a lot. We got seven hours on it. That's a good amount of hours for a telehandler. And we'll hook on to there. Pull that back, lift it up. See if we can't sneak out without running some stuff over. And yeah, so we're going to go ahead do probably a little short time lapse. Oh boy, everything's going crazy. Probably a little short time lapse of me stacking hay. I'm gonna skip that bale for a second. I'm gonna go to get this one and then we're gonna stack them together. Personally, I like to do this, spear it in the middle, get it kind of straight, and go over here like this, line it up like such, kind of hit it together so that they stay, and then go through the entire field and do it this way, because then when you come pick them up, all you have to do when you pick them up you don't have to worry about pushing them together and turning and messing around like this. But then when you come pick them all up, you can pick them up and then stack them at the edge of the field or go put them on your trailer. So that's where I'm headed now. Um, we've got two down here. It'll take us a little while. Normally, you probably wouldn't go across the field at 24 mile an hour, 25 mile an hour, 26 now. Because fields are pretty rough. Um, fastest I've ever went in a field was probably, I guess I've been 20 mile an hour I think before, 10, I've been 10 mile an hour before, there we go, so we'll set them in the cradle like that, and we'll grab our next few here, and I'm going to go ahead and get it all loaded up, and we'll see you guys when I get it loaded. So here's our last little piece here to do. Put them straight. We already pushed them all over. Oh, about knocked them out. Using the crab. 
grabbed them over like this, pushed them over. Kind of like using that sometimes. And there's probably another load here, I'm guessing. Looks to me like there will be. So we might as well bring the trailer back for that little bit. I think we'll park the trailer about over there where that pile is. Park this here. And we'll jump into the pickup. And we'll go ahead and strap them down. And we'll take them, take them into the uh, storage area. Now I don't know where to store them. I'd like to place down maybe a placeable somewhere. Maybe a placeable down here on this like area where it's flat. Make it flat. Level it up and place it down. I don't know yet. Especially since we don't have any money. And I'll probably end up just stacking them here for now. Or I could stack them in this grass spot. That's what I could do. I think I'll do that for now. I'll just stack them in this grass area. We'll just push them. Just push them over. Yeah, we'll put them here for now. And then if we have to move them later. Or we'll probably end up feeding them. I don't think we'll move them. Oh, I don't want them in there. That's where I want the center row to be. So I'm basically going to try and get it to where it's straight and that I can push this over. Keep going over too far. Alright, we're just going to dump them. Alright, so we're going to dump them here. And then when we get the telehandler to the house, we'll just push the side that's in our field over there and make a straight line so that they're stacked up like that. And then we might stack another row. We'll see how many there is. For sure we'll stack two trailers out and then whatever's left we'll probably stack in a third line on the top. So we're going to go ahead and get all this hay hauled and get it all done and out of here and then we can plow this field and we'll probably have to lime it. I don't know if we will or not. I'm guessing we probably will. Just because normally when you plow it for the first time I think you do. I'm just not sure and if we do we'll probably have to lime it next year or for sure the year after that. I don't know when it was last limed because I just bought this field. But anyway, if you guys do want to go check out um, the plowing of this video and or the plowing of this uh, next video on my channel, it's over there. It's in the description or in the cards up above. But yeah. So we're going to be plowing in the next episode and we're going to be planting using the new tractor over on my channel and it will actually be out before the other video because I post at 5 every day and basically like after I record this then I go record that so this is being posted at 7 and my video was already posted at 5 so if you guys want to see kind of like a sneak peek on what I did the day before go ahead and do that go over there follow me and yeah so hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did hit that like button and we will see you all next time